Hello guys, welcome back. I look a little bit like I'm dragged through a hedge backwards. Just having a day of sorting stuff out and packing things. I'm going on a weekend trip tomorrow for a friend's wedding. Um, and as I was packing, I was sort of thinking about realising basically that I've got some really strong summer pieces. And I have been inspired in this moment. I think by my hair and face, you can tell this has been an of the moment inspiration. To do a video taking three pieces that I'm going to take in with me on holiday and styling them each up in two different ways. So there'll be a total of seven outfits, including this one, and then two more with each piece. Um, just because, especially if you're traveling with hand luggage, being able to style things like that is super important. And I think there's loads of ways you can repurpose clothes when you're on holiday. So the clothes in question are these shorts from Arquette and I've also got these in black which you're going to see but I picked these up the other day I think they're the perfect length denim short I'm not a fan of really short short denim shorts I also find them exceedingly uncomfortable and like all they do is go up 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 and it's horrible um whereas this sort of length is so much better I've mentioned in the past that the jeans I have from Arquette I really struggle with weight that they, the way that they fit over my waist you often find that I've got a huge gap there, but that isn't the case with their shorts. There is a little bit, but with their jeans, some of you might remember from the, Je the Come Denim Shopping With Me video I did, it sits straight off my back. Um, but these don't, which I'm really thrilled with. Um, and yeah, I just think they're really great shorts. I've got them in a size 8. And then also this top, this is also from our case. It's like a really fine knit almost, just a sleeveless tank top. I'm really a big fan of tight tank tops, as you know, like a tight white one or a really nice high neck white one. But something like this is just a little bit easier and breezier. Um, so I thought this would feature it. And then my third item is something I've worn quite a few times already, which is this huge shirt from Massimo Duty. Huge linen shirt. Um, you could. This is from the women's section, but you could definitely look for something like this. Like in Uniqlo, in the men's section, I do have a great one from Uniqlo, but this is just the most amazing length. Uh, the back of it is a bit longer and it's got this great pleated detail down the back. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. I've been wearing it quite a bit as a jacket in London and in Europe and things like that. Um, obviously it needs an iron. Although, I mean, it does need an iron. There's no two ways about it, but I personally don't mind the look of creased linen. So yes, these are my three base items. They're definitely coming in the suitcase with me. Um, now I'm going to show you different ways that I would wear each of them as well. I think you can see the suit. I'm going to need to move the suitcase so I can go full length back. There we go. I'm doing hand luggage, which even if I'm only away for a few nights, is always a challenge. Okay, guys, look one is using the, sh the shorts, but with something untucked. I picked up this linen shirt from Mango the other week. I was in there shopping for testing basics and got hugely distracted by the shirt because I just think it was such an amazing piece. With the buttons on the huge, um, huge wide sleeves, it's got like a really big gap between the top button there and then all the others. So I think that is definitely asking to be styled and done like this. Really boxy, a really nice colour. Um, yeah, I really, really like it. And then on my feet, I'm going to take away these shoes which are from St Agni. Now, they are more or less identical to a pair I've had for ages and have worn loads from, um, let me dig them out, from Vagabond. Some, I'm sure loads of you are knowing the ones that I'm going to talk about. Actually, these would look really good with this too. These are the ones. So, they're literally almost identical. Um, but I wanted to, so these have been sent to me and I got these off Amazon Fashion last year. But I wanted to point these out because if you guys loved these, which I know lots of you did, and I still love them, and they're so comfortable and I've loved styling them, then these are a great alternative because these aren't available anymore as far as I know. Whereas these are, and they're a slightly thicker weave through the top of the shoe, as you can see. But to style, they're just so, so, so similar. Um, but the other shoe I'd just seen in there, which I thought might look nice with this, these from Dear Francis that I had last summer. My really nana, nana grandma sandals that I love. Oh, these are so good. Okay, let me show you the full length. Oh, lost a shoe. Which shoe do you think? I think this the the St. Agni ones, the new one. I could ease, they feel like they're gonna be just as comfortable as those Vagabond ones as well, because they are probably some of those comfortable slides I've ever had. Um, but either would work, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the St. Agni ones for this. I don't know if I'm saying that brand right. 
Um, yeah, it kind of feels a bit safari-ish. I personally really like this outfit. You could definitely style it with heels, like some nude heels for an even more evening look, but um, yeah, I love this. This is look number one with the shorts. Okay, this outfit I love. I've got on the shorts still and then the linen shirt done up over it. And while the shirt's long, it can't be worn as a shirt dress because of how high it splits up the sides. And it just, if you put it on without anything underneath, you really, it just doesn't feel like it's meant to be a dress, even though the length at the back would be long enough, the front just wouldn't be. Um, but with the nude shorts, the um, beigey, creamy shorts underneath, it, you can see it as you walk and stuff and as you move, especially with the buttons open, but it does sort of look like you're wearing a dress. And then I just put on it with these um, Jimmy Choo heels. I bought these a few weeks ago, knowing that I had some weddings in the summer coming up. Um, and yeah, I wore them on a hen do. They're super comfortable. You can dance all night in them. And I think they just look amazing. Like they're so simple, but so lovely. You can wear them with so many different things. And you can tie the straps higher up your leg or leave it ruched down by your ankle, whatever you find flattering. But it kind of makes them a little bit more versatile. Um, and I love the fact that they're black, but the straps are so thin, they don't feel like a heavy black sandal. So obviously black always sort of goes with the most, so you can wear it with everything, but it doesn't stop a look feeling summery. Like this outfit, for example, I love this. I'd wear this out for like a nice dinner, or if you were having a holiday night out. Um, and yes, this is already two different ways for the shorts, and we're already on two looks for the shirt. I've got some more though, I've got some more ready. <laughs> Okay, we've got the linen shirt again as a jacket and what would be more like a chilled holiday evening look if you don't want to wear heels. Um, this little black dress is from Reformation and I love it. It was still available online last time I checked so I'll leave a link. But it's just so flattering and so simple with the split at the side which makes it feel super short but it actually isn't too short everywhere else. Definitely got dresses from Reformation which are minier than this one. Um, and then with the shirt over the top like a jacket, which I suppose is quite practical for holiday evenings if the temperature drops a little bit just as you're walking home from dinner, but makes it just feel really effortless and easy. I actually have already pretty much worn this outfit when I was in New York, but with a blazer over it, um, and I love it. And then my, the sandals I've got on are my dear Francis Wrap flip-flop sandals, which are so unbelievably comfy and nice and eveningy because they're like a chic flip flop but also really effortless and easy to wear. Um, yeah, I I'm going to show you now another, basically, if I pack a shirt like this on holiday, which I'm going to, on the first day I'd wear it um, done up with something, so like the outfit that I just showed you with some shorts, then you could wear it like this as an evening as a jacket, and then after that you can wear it over swimwear, which I'll show you now. Because um, something like this is just goes such a long way in your suitcase on a holiday um, and looks great with every sort of look. Okay, so now just over a bikini. This bikini is from Peony. It's like a really high-waisted one, which is different for me. I've got a really short body, so I don't normally go for high-waisted ones because it just shrinks my body even more, which this one definitely does, but I still love it. And then it's got quite a nice wide bikini top as well. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you this to show you how good this can look just thrown on over something once you've already worn it a couple of times. It doesn't matter if it's a bit smelly or something when you're just on the beach because you're obviously you're full of sun cream anyway. Um, but yeah, it's like the ultimate effortless versatile piece, which I think is great. And um, Peony is a swimwear brand. is probably my favourite swimwear brand, I think. And they do um, really good sized bikini tops. Like they're not too skimpy if you've got a bit, bit of a bust. Um, and they do loads of great bandeau ones, just a really good mix of styles. I think they're stocked on net porter and they also definitely have their own website, which I'll link. This one's been sent to me and they do send me stuff um, every time they do a new collection, but they are, um, out of all of the swimwear brands that I have tried, definitely one of my favourites and I think the most flattering as well. Okay, I have on the tank top, the Arquette tank top, and these are the same shorts you've already seen but in the black. Um, they're just such a good cut. These are also in a size A and I think they're so good. I guess all black on holiday might not be the most practical and the addition of the belt will definitely make this a bit of a sweaty outfit. You know when that like, sweat just collects around the waistband? But you could ditch the belt or wear this for an evening but I just really liked the idea of an all black look that wasn't a dress. Again, I've got on my dear Francis flip-flops and I would wear my Celine sunglasses which you saw in my sunglasses collection video which are also black and gold so everything's quite matchy. 
um yes yeah, so so simple but so nice and um, i think i'm not packing a pair of de a blue denim shorts on this trip normally i always would and when i'm going away for longer in the summer i definitely will but for this one i'm just going to take my black and my beige ones i think if i had to pick one between the two i'd go for the beige one and would get more wear out of it but I oops i really like this outfit and finally with the black top i've just got some linen trousers i love trousers i'm sure you all know this like i'm a proper trousers girl and i always take a pair on holiday with me i'm currently working on testing basics for linen trousers so we shall all be equipped for the summer these aren't a pair in it this is an old pair that i have that i got from vintage reformation when i was in la i'll link something similar below there's quite a lot of this style around at the moment um, and it's just where they've kind of got the pleats through the top and they're a bit of a peg leg and I've styled them with the St Agni slides again just to break up the monochrome look but yeah this top would just be so versatile and because it's quite loose and lightweight I think it just looks great and and yeah I like how these looks always feel quite vintage I would add the belt if it weren't too hot for sure but if it was too hot just ditch it and you could even throw again you could even wear the linen shirt and the jacket with this Oh, this linen shirt is so good. So good. Like if it was a cooler evening. Yeah. Yeah. Just so good. So simple and so effortless and just what you want to be on holiday. Comfortable and easy and cool and breezy. <laughs> um, ow, I just poked myself in the eye. Um, that is everything I want to show you. I know it's been a short, sweet video, but I hope it's been somewhat helpful for some styling ideas for a weekend away where you really wouldn't need more than seven outfits anyway, I suppose, if you're away for a couple of nights. I mean, that's even way too many. Um, but this at least it's pieces that you've got loads of variation within if they're in your suitcase. Especially if, like me, you sometimes just want to pack last minute and throw things in a case and feel confident with the decisions that you're making. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Links to everything in the description box. I'm hoping the next video on Wednesday will be testing basics. Currently having a delay with the delivery of two pairs of trousers. If they come today, then we'll all be on time for Wednesday. If they don't, then I'm away until Monday and there might be a slight delay, but we'll see how we go. I'm halfway through filming at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one.